1873, he murdered 1.5 million buffalo. This is the same country that want to take Julian Assange for 175 years. Can I say thank you to everyone for being here this morning. Thank you for standing up for free speech. Thank you for standing up for Julian Assange. Bravo! Julian has done no more than tell the world the truth. The truth about wars, the truth about military planning, the cynicism by which we've been into wars in Afghanistan, Iraq, Libya, Syria, and the consequence of those wars are the poverty, the refugee flows, and the terrorism of today and tomorrow. There is no future for this planet if all we can ever do is plan for war and plan for greater military power. There has to be somebody that speaks up for peace. And I see Julian Assange as somebody that's told the truth and enables all of us who consider ourselves to be peace campaigners to be better repaired, better informed and better able to put forward those simple arguments. If this decision ever reaches the desk of the Home Secretary, and that is up to this court behind me today, I hope she will reflect on the importance of her office, on the importance of the decision that she is required to make, and recognise that extradition, extradition of Julian Assange to the United States will condemn him to in all probability 175 years in a maximum security prison for doing no more, absolutely no more than telling the truth to the rest of the world. If Julian had been a journalist in China or Russia, he would be lauded by the media all over the Western world. He'd be lauded by Western governments for telling the truth. Because he's told an inconvenient truth, he is an embarrassment to them, and therefore he's incarcerated in Her Majesty's prison, Belmarsh, a maximum security prison with truly horrible and awful conditions there in which his health has seriously deteriorated. In all humanity, I say to this court, release Julian Assange, that he may be able to continue his work as a journalist in telling the truth about the way in which so much of this world is what is run. I hate wars, I hate the violence of wars, and I hate the killing of wars. And I want Julian's truth to help us to demand a ceasefire and an end to the war in Ukraine, a ceasefire and an end to the war in Yemen, and all the other wars around the world. He has given us truths which has enabled us to do that campaigning. So when Priti Patel is asked to make that decision, I ask her to reflect what is a democracy other than the ability of journalists to do their job to ask the strong questions of politicians and those that make decisions. What is a democracy but protecting that right, that right to speak, that right to know, that right to assemble, that right to be an activist? It will be on her hands this, and I hope she will reflect of those great journalists of the past that have done so much to give us truths and recognize that in those steps comes Julian Assange. Today, we're here in solidarity with Julian, Stella, his family, and all those that campaign for him. And we will carry on campaigning, whatever decision is made today, whatever decision Priti Patel makes, and we'll carry on campaigning with our many friends all across the United States in support of Julian, free speech, journalism, and democracy. Thank you very much. Yeah.